am I? <laughs> when I look around, I see recipes waiting to be made. I'm not a vegetarian, and I have no intention of killing anything because I don't want to get any blood on my shoes. Oh look, it's a chicken coop. I guess I'll show you how to make devil eggs instead. The average hen lays 300 eggs a year. For today's recipe, I'm gonna need some eggs. Let's see what I can find. Oh, look at this. Yes. I won't need to find any more eggs for days. This will last me for a long time. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah, perfect. There's a wide variety of eggs in here. Some new eggs, old eggs, big eggs, small eggs. I use the older eggs for boiling. New yolks and whites are more defined and better for frying. Let's go find some water. Out here in the wild, having a saucepan is absolutely necessary. That's why I recently picked up this baby right here. It's an aluminum clad stainless steel saucepan. I recently acquired it from a native. I had to trade my jacket for it, but I think it's worth it. But right now, we need to find some fish. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, we can use this later in our recipe. Let's go make a fire. Sweet, a kitchen! Oh, magnificent, just what I need. Whoa, it's a lucky day! 18 eggs, found some, uh, I was able to acquire some salmon, some cilantro and chives, and lemon, lemon and lime. We don't need a lid since we don't want the water to boil. Hi, I'm Dr. Humpty Dumpty. Welcome to another edition of Inside the Shell. I'm joined today by Professor Yoke Eggman. Good evening. Today, we'll be discussing what's going on in the shell while we're cooking an egg in water. Professor, why don't you tell us what's going on inside those mysterious shells? Well, eggs are rich in protein, especially the egg whites around us. It's this protein that causes eggs to become hard when boiled. So when you break those strings by various methods, are you denaturing the protein? Indeed, you can denature a protein in several different ways. When you heat an egg, the proteins gain energy and literally shake apart the bonds between the parts of the amino acid strings, causing the proteins to unfold. As the temperature increases, the proteins gain enough energy to form new, stronger bonds that are covalent with other protein molecules. When you boil an egg, the heat first breaks or unfolds the proteins, and then allows the proteins to link to other proteins. The water that surrounded each protein molecule when the egg was liquid is forced out. That's why the egg turns hard. Hmm. So you're saying that heat affects all of the proteins in an egg? Yes. When cooking eggs, you should always use moderate heat. High heat causes the protein in eggs to become tough and rubbery. So if you use high heat to boil an egg, the iron in the yolk will react with the hydrogen sulfide in the white and will leave a green film of iron sulfide around the yolk. It won't hurt you to eat it, and the egg will taste the same, but it's going to look bad. Agreed. Thank you very much, Professor. Join us next week for another episode of Inside the Shell. Welcome back. Did you learn anything? I owe my career to those guys. Immediate cold water will make the shells easier to peel. Peel them and cut them in half. It's time to smash. Quarter cup mayo, a tablespoon of relish, and a teaspoon of mustard. Mix and match some of the other ingredients I found here. Even threw in some smoked salmon to thrill the taste buds. Gentlemen, I present you deviled eggs. Yay! Yay! Oh man, I'm missing my chem class.
Oh, not cool. Not cool. <laughs>